today's tutorial, we are gonna be knocking off the rust. I haven't touched off the effects illustration or nothing for three weeks. I figured we'd get right back into the figure things by doing something that I kind of know how to do, which is animate logos. I came across this Sky Urban logo made by Fabian Abu. So that's what we're gonna be animating. But first, we are gonna make it an illustrator to kind of get an idea of what we want to do. First thing I want to do is recreate the uh, the logo itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate these buildings and the negative space with shapes and then we can animate that in After Effects. And I'm just going to click Command R to bring up my rulers and create one right at the bottom here. I'm going to start by creating my buildings or like the, the not negative space positive space, I guess it's called. So that is our buildings. And then I'm just gonna work on the negative space. Click I, I'm just gonna select that and select all of these. Move them back into place, delete the logo. Make sure that we have it lined up pretty good. So now we have the base of our logo. I'm gonna select all of these and I'm just gonna scale them up a little bit. Now I'm gonna select I to have, make sure I have the right background color and I'm gonna create the background here. Scale it up to fit the whole thing. I'm gonna. Command G it, just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Place it in and use Command forward bracket or whatever it is to align it to bring it to the front. And let's say this is the final scale that we kind of want here. I also want to recreate the cloud, which is probably going to be pretty easy. It looks like kind of just circles. Click L to bring up your circle tool. Hold Shift and create the circles. And I want to make sure my scale is pretty good. Probably would have been smart to pick a different color. And my circles are just a little bit off. That probably do. At least that'll be good enough. Select like all three of them. Move them over here. Select the background color color. We are just going to use a rectangle. So click M for the base of it. And scale it until you intersect with the middle of circles. Boom. Just like that we have our cloud. Command G it. We can actually just turn this into a compound shape for ease of use, you know what I mean? I'm actually just gonna take this again, duplicate it, scale it down and line it up with this. I probably just should have made a copy when I initially did this instead of having to go back and do it now, but that works. Line it up with that, ungroup all of these. That is pretty much it. The text, I'm just gonna use a font. He probably, he uses Poppins and Monster a lot. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on using too. I'm just gonna select all of this. Before I do that, I'm gonna ungroup all of this actually. Select all of this and use Overlord to get it into After Effects. In Illustrator, we're working with CMYK. The colors are gonna be a bit different, but we can adjust those later. Again, I'm gonna use motion tools recommend the plugin, watch my most used plugins video, whatever I called it, and extract all of this. And then I'm just gonna rename this. The way I had imagined animating this is creating the buildings kind of popping up, just animating the position of them, just to get that feel that they are kind of going up and maybe a little bit of overall canvas movement to help accentuate that. I'm gonna link my, my left building and my negative space together just so I don't have to animate them individually. I'm gonna do that just by creating a void and naming that. So if I click P to open the position, I'll animate these together. So that's just gonna make my life a little bit easier. Unseparate the dimension of these. Hit P and then my right and middle building. Also hit P, go forward to about one second and keyframe all of this. Go back to about 12 frames and select all of these and move them down. Highlight my keyframes, add six speed. I'm gonna drag this out just a little bit more just cause it's a bit too fast. I'm gonna rearrange these keyframes just a little bit just to make it look a little bit more random the way it comes in. Scoot these in a little bit closer, tighten it up just a smidge. I think in addition to this, I'm gonna animate the path of them just a little bit. So with nothing selected, I'm just gonna search path and that's gonna give me the path for Pretty much everything. I'm just gonna keyframe all of this except for the background. I'm just gonna select these keyframes, go forward a little bit, and I'm gonna start with this one, unclick it, and then select only the top ones, go down maybe to around here, and then of course the matching path on the other end for this would be this one and match the height of it. The same with the middle building, just unselect, hold shift and select, go down maybe a little bit further, and the right building that. Select these, add sexy speed again, deselect everything, hit U to bring up the keyframes. We can move them to about here. It's such a subtle detail, but it does add just a tiny bit to it. Now that we have the buildings come in, or at least the base of it, I'm gonna pre-comp them and name it buildings. And I'm gonna animate the position of this just a little bit. So again, create a noid, create a void, name it, and then open the position. Let's say we want it to end right there, and we're gonna be using the Y position. 
which is up and down, keyframe it, go back just ever so slightly down, add a little bit of easing to it. Let's try it with sexy speed as our base. Pretty good. And again, it's just that little bit of follow through to make it feel less static and linear. So now it's time to animate the transition into the logo itself. To do that, I'm gonna go into Illustrator. I'm gonna import my actual logo and I'm just gonna center it up and then I am going to extract. We have the bottom layer here, which is our cloud. And then we have all of these buildings here, which I'm gonna copy and paste inside our buildings layer. So I'm gonna use these as a guide. I'm gonna decrease the opacity and put them all the way at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take my, let's do the left building first. I only wanna see the scale of this. And of course I wanna see all of these. I'm simply gonna keyframe the scale. Let's start it at two seconds, just so I kind of have an idea what I'm doing. Go forward to three seconds. Also set a keyframe the, for the position. Go forward to three seconds and scale it down. Move it to match the building that we actually want to match it to. And select my keyframes and let's apply sexy speed. And we'll have something that looks kind of like that. Again, we're just gonna repeat that for all the buildings. And I'm actually just gonna add a slight stagger to it. So I want my left building here to come in first then maybe we'll do our right building and lastly our middle building that's just going to add a little bit of visual interest to the animation and i actually kind of want this to be the last one just because it has that negative space that's perfect now we can go back in here if i just hide my background and put my cloud at the bottom i want to use my initial logo recreation as kind of a guide for the cloud if i scale it up i want to see where our building should be to match where the buildings actually are so this is about the size our cloud needs to be to match the animation of the buildings so i'm just going to set that to the same exact as this, line it up and set a keyframe position and the scale. Let's go to two seconds, keyframe that and set the scale to 100 and 540. Add our easing, sexy speed. Let's turn on the track map for this again so we can see what it looks like. And before that, now we have that keyframe and I'm just gonna scale this up all the way. And that's just gonna make it select these keyframes, go in here and zoom in, move these up a little bit to make a smooth animation. I don't like how it's overlapping the buildings a little bit here. It might just make this a little bit slower. That's almost pretty good. That honestly looks pretty good. Close it in just a tiny bit. And of course the background color here is white. So I'm gonna create a new solid. Just turn that slightly off white just for just for good measure, you know? Select the shift command Y and copy the white color that we've got from here. Add it to our buildings and paste that. So now we've got this little bad boy here. Of course, since we're not using the background, we don't need that. And we're using a track mat, which we don't really need. We can simply use that as a track mat. That is pretty much it for the animation itself. You know, we've got the, the logo animation right here. Let's create a cloud and Select like my buildings controller and just create a void. We are gonna add some text here. We're just gonna say sky urban, change it to let's see Poppins. That looks pretty good. Let's center it up. I'm just gonna add a simple position animation to both of these. Keyframe the position, keyframe that. Go forward a little bit, turn on your proportional grid, move the logo up until you kind of like the spacing. This will be pretty good. Move them down to line them up. I'm just gonna try and center, center them up a little bit. Add some easing to this. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this After Effects tutorial. I just wanted something that was fairly simple and something I knew I could do within this time frame. I hope you guys enjoyed, learned something new maybe, or just inspired to make your own logo animations. Again, shout out to Fabian for making this logo. I didn't ask permission to animate it, but I did it anyways. So, you know, you just gotta be a rule breaker sometimes, you know what I mean? But uh, I'll see you again next week, and uh, thank you for watching. Peace.